guys good morning today is a very exciting day because we are going to eat vajket okay for so long we haven't went out to eat vajket okay and now we are going to eat vajket okay in a new place that we haven't tried it's called coffee spells i look really puffy puff daddy <laughs> what are you walking <laughs> So I am really excited and I am very hungry and I really want to eat and cannot wait to try the new place and their coffee and yes, very excited. So dessert. it's maybe dessert. Now it's 20, quarter to 10, so it's early morning and yeah, we are going to try Vajkatuke in a new place. So and today excited. Agda is looking amazing. Thank you. From Berlin. Yes, I'm beautiful. No, are you excited? No, I'm beautiful. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. You understood my question wrong. Are you excited about? I'm beautiful. No, it's very wrong. <laughs> I like your outfit. You look so. You're so like Berlinish. Berlin is stylish. We went to Humana after Vashkechi for a little bit, but I didn't find anything. Sharunas got uh, Struke. <laughs> Sharunas got coat or jacket, if coat you jacket. will. Coat jacket and jacket. Coat. How was uh, your experience with Vashkechi? As you saw, perfetto. Vashkechi cord bene. pancakes. Bene. Molto bene. Yes, I was so happy. I'm still happy. I miss eating Vashkechi somewhere outside home. It was really good. I want for lunch. Can I? It's a kisaka nedia chushito. Galidiat. So the city is absolutely empty. Yesterday, yesterday it was a Halloween party day. So I think everyone partied really hard. And now the city is empty, very empty. Totally empty. And I have so much energy and I'm so happy. So I'm really good. <laughs> Agni is very good. And also today we're going to the cinema and to dinner. So it's a good day for me. The weather is even not that scary. So we are at home right now, just chilling. I just had some <clears throat> water, but I really wanted to tell you one thing. Uh, me and Charas found really interesting TV show on Lithuanian TV on Alerta TV. The show is called Searching for Secrets and it's every Saturday at 12 p.m. And the show is about um, big cities history. For example, now we watch series about London the weekend before we were watching about New York and Manhattan it's so interesting so I really wanted to recommend if you're a Lithuanian or not um, look for this TV show either online or on TV searching for secrets it's really interesting if you like history and you can get to know so so many facts it's crazy super interesting I wish the show would never end
I made myself a coffee latte probably I don't know how would you call this coffee I think it's more of a latte anyway I haven't read today so I took a book I made a coffee and gonna read right now for maybe half an hour 40 minutes and then we will see but today is actually really really chill and cozy day I really like it especially when the mornings are so nice in a coffee shop with curd pancakes or washkechi so mm, quite strong actually still reading this book um, I read more than a half last night before bed I read it and it was about quantum physics and it was just too much for me so I'm gonna finish reading about quantum physics and uh, universe right now and yeah then we have a plan to go for aperitivo before the movie but I'm not sure because my makeup is not looking good and I will probably have to do it all over again because I did it in early morning and I feel like I need to just clean everything clean the oil and do the makeup anyway I'm gonna read book right now and see you somewhere else I'm um, after lunch I didn't show you my lunch because it was leftovers from everything so I read a book had a coffee had lunch chilled for a bit and now I'm getting ready for the evening I just cleansed my face with nano cloth and I use cleanser from math and I decided today also to use a serum with B5 vitamin or pantanol so I'm gonna use this one because the weather is getting really harsh and my skin needs a lot of hydration and I also need some regeneration so I'm gonna use the serum with vitamin B5 what I also gonna do my lips feel really dry so I'm gonna use toothbrush to exfoliate them because I want them to be nice and plump and not dry and the coffee that I had made me a little shaky so we just scrub like this in really light motions And now after I scrub it, I will use this NARS lip mask to hydrate and prep my lips for lip pencil and lipstick or lip gloss. So I'm gonna use foundation, my favorite one from Isadora, Wake Up Makeup and Beauty Blender. I'm not gonna use any moisturizer because I have um, combination skin and the B5 serum is just enough for me as a serum and a moisturizer. This foundation is really hydrating and soothing so it gives glow and hydration and it kind of moisturizes as well. I am pretty sure you can't see the actual thing but the foundation looks really natural. Now I'm gonna use NYX Professional Makeup Concealer. I also quite like NARS Creamy Radiance, but it's, for me it's too thick. And this from NYX is actually really, really, really nice. Did my eyebrows and used this Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and Lumen Eyebrow Definer. For my blush, I'm gonna try to use Fenty Lipstick. I really love using lipsticks as my blushes because you get so many options and you can also make your makeup really uh, go well together when you use the same shade of lipstick and blush. And I use really really light hand, not pushing, not squeezing, but really really light hand. Now I'm gonna use a tiny bit of Vicary Translucent Setting Powder with Hyaluronic Acid. I think this is the best setting powder you can get and especially if you use uh, this kind of brush, the tiny brush and you use it really precisely like in the places where you actually need it. So this is how my makeup looks in the daylight. I changed my 
lip color and uh, because the other one was a bit too made me look a bit old for some reason so I made it a bit more like bright and light so yeah that's it so guys we are going to the cinema um, we still have hour and 15 minutes left so maybe we will have a drink somewhere before the cinema we will see hmm? aperitivo Shara's corrected me maybe we will have aperitivo I changed my outfit oh uh, what else what else nothing nothing new still no people in the city still gloomy but it's okay I put my leather jacket on and this gray sweater and wide leg pants and Dr. Martens platforms We came at this place called Bromas and I took, of course, Aperol Spritz because here they have the best Aperol Spritzes in Vilnius. The size of my head. I think there's a lot of alcohol. Going to the cinema, we are going to watch Piktu Yukarta, the generation of angry, angry generation. Um, the reviews of the movie are really good, so we are expecting a lot. Also, it's a Lithuanian uh, movie made by yes. Lithuanian directors and actors. Yes. So that will be quite interesting. And we are going to watch the movie at Asaka Cinema. Buongiorno everyone. Today is the next day and it's Sunday. It's actually quite a beautiful day and we are going to the shop to get some groceries for, of course, homemade washkeche because we don't have things we need and Sharunas also is going to do gnocchi alla Sorrentino today because he made this recipe with Federico on their Cookest channel but it's not out yet so follow and subscribe for Cookest if you want to learn how to make amazing Italian recipes so yeah he's going to do some gnocchi today um we are going to the shop some blue sky for you Tonis is doing poo poo um yesterday after the movie we went to have dinner at la bohème it's a restaurant near the cinema the restaurant wasn't that good we've never been there um, I've been only once We had some mussels in creamy sauce then uh, I had we had we shared octopus with fennel and yuzu sauce We each had a glass of wine Shadas had a glass of wine worth of 10 euros and it was so small It wasn't uh, the best uh, thing that we've been to so we are definitely not going to repeat that place again soon and then we went on the way home to Tora Sedashos or glasses and sausages in English it's one of the best places to have wine in Vilnius I personally think so because it's really easy going place they have really nice snacks they have um, a really really good selection of wine and variety of really interesting sandwiches and cheeses Danish cheeses Lithuanian cheeses so it's really really cozy cozy and informal place 
Scandinavian style where you can have some nice wine. So sunny, so sunny. And talking about the movie, uh, we would definitely recommend to watch it um, because as for the Lithuanian movie, it was really, really well set and the actors were really good and the way it was filmed <coughs> was really good and the plot was really, really good also. The storyline was really interesting, so definitely recommend. The way I make vachkatukai, it's never the same. I don't have any recipe. I never do things by grams. I never weigh anything. I just do it uh, with the flow that I think about. So I just mix uh, curd, sometimes low fat, sometimes low fat and um, a bit higher in fat rice flour, eggs, uh, baking soda. Now I'm making them in a pan, not in the oven, because I usually make them in the oven, but this time I wanted to make them in a pan, in oil. So I'm frying them in oil. Also, this is the first time I did it like this. I rolled it and then I cut it. Enjoy. I think Whenever we, we eat Vajkechi, we always watch Lietuvos Tuktumenčia Vaikai. It's our tradition for Sunday. Now we are going to make coffee. It was really good. And we're gonna have really old dessert that I recently found when I was in Chile visiting my mom. I will show you how it looks like. So we're gonna have coffee and dessert now. And the dessert is Gaidelis cookies with butter. This is the dessert with the coffee. I am sitting on a sofa. I vacuumed, vacuumed, vacuumed the house. I also cleaned our terrace a bit because it had a lot of fallen leaves from the trees. And now I made myself my uh, cocoa with adaptogens because I don't actually want to drink coffee, but I want something to pick me up and also something to accompany my book reading because now I'm gonna read a book and gonna chill for a bit, read a book, have my cocoa, sit cozy here on a sofa with a blanket and yeah, Sunday is going so far. Guys, I just finished reading book and then I scrolled on my phone for a bit because I really don't have any motivation to do anything else. Not like motivation, I just want to chill. So, made a little snack, uh, mango and coconut hummus with carrots. And I'm gonna sit by computer to edit the vlog as much as I can. Um, while Sharas is going to make the gnocchi uh, alla Sorrentino might help him if he needs my help. I really need to edit the vlog and uh, do some progress on that, but I cannot wait for dinner because it's going to be really good. I'm pretty sure it's going s it's going to be so, so, so good. I'm inserting the name of Sharuna's uh, channel, Kukast, here, here, somewhere here. So you can check the recipe. I'm not going to show how Sharonas makes it, but you can just go on Cookast and check the recipe. Just out of the oven, look how good this looks. Wow, so delicious. Cannot wait to try it. <laughs> 